Hey guys, it's Tiffany from zebrachick.net and I'm going to teach you how to do the simple sign style that I've been doing a lot lately and a lot of people have been asking me how to do it. So yeah, here you go. Okay, what you're going to need to do this will be um, a picture, a color scheme, textures slash pattern. I call them patterns, but they're textures. You need some kind of basic Photoshop skills because you do need to know how to like cut around it and any type of font. Okay. This is what's gonna look like. There's before and there's the after. So you're gonna start with a picture. So let me exit. You're gonna start with a picture, like you see right here. I don't know who this is, so do not ask me. Okay, so you come over to here where the background layer is at and you're going to right click and you're going to duplicate the layer. You'll get this to pop up. It's just telling you that it's duplicated. Then you're going to come up here to image and go to adjustments and then desaturate. And then once you did that, you're going to go to layer, merge visible. Okay. And then you're going to duplicate the merge one again. You're going to take it to hard light. Well, you can mess with it. Like, hard light makes it dark. You can make it lighter if you want, which is screen, or you can make it a combination of the both. But I prefer it on hard light. So for this tutorial, make it on hard light. Okay. And then you would come again, and you would merge them again right click so that it makes it so it's a layer and then you're going to take the image and with your what is this the polygonic or you can use your pen whichever one you're used to you're going to come around the site model and cut it out and this might look sloppy but sorry I'm trying to go fast so you just cut it out like everyone should know how to do that where you're just doing point to point if not you can look that up okay and if you hear a mouse clicking that's cause yes I do have a wireless mouse so, cutting her out. Ooh. Grr, messed up, hold on. And if you ever mess up, you just literally hit shift on the keyboard and just hold it down and you keep cutting out. And you'll see it'll start to cut it, just like mine is doing right now. Stupid crap. Okay. I'll fix that in a second. So you would, after you're done with all the points, you would right click, hit select inverse, and then on your keyboard, hit delete. Okay. And if there's parts that got messed up, like mine did right here, you would just cut that part out just so it matches up the right way just proves nobody's perfect even sites with experience still mess up Okay. now once that's all cut out you would come over to here and you would duplicate it Okay. and then you would take your mouse and you would drag the one that just got duplicated underneath the other one and then you just slightly move it over and then you do it again pretty much you're just duplicating non-stop until all the space is filled in like just keep duplicating if you don't like that it's on top you just drag it to the bottom again like I did and just keep filling in the spaces okay take another one drag it to the bottom so that that's all filled in 
do the same thing over here. Pretty much, it just makes it look like there's a bunch of pictures. Like, you could blend it out. Like, a lot of people I've seen blend them. Um, to be honest, I'm not that great at blending. Like, that is one thing that I do suck at. So, I don't do all that. Okay, then, fill in the spaces below. Drive it to the bottom. Do one more. There's a space on the bottom. Okay. And then once you have that done, okay, you can see there's no space, it's empty. You come to layer, and then you'd merge it again. And then you duplicate that layer, and then go to filter, sharpen. And I like to do it twice. So now you see the picture pops more. Okay. Now you would come over, no, you make a layer, new layer, okay, bring up your color scheme, there's my color scheme, right, okay, there's my color scheme, you would just start putting some color orbs on the picture, and that's the brush, if you're wondering, if every Photoshop has it, it looks kind of like this, you just use 200, it's like a dot, with flares out of it, I guess you would call it, aka the color orb. Just put them in random spots. You don't even have to use all the colors, it just depends how you like it. I just like mine to be colorful. Okay, and then over here on the layer side, you'd bring it from normal and make it screen. Okay, and then if you don't, if you want more, there we go, that's good. Okay, now you would stop being on this one, you would open up your patterns. I'll minimize. Okay, this one right here isn't mine. Okay, I got this from Peter from Clashy years ago. If you need it, I can give you it. You don't need it, but in case you do, I will supply that one. And then I also have another one that I got from Raina from Flava. So you would come and you would open one, then you go to edit. Define pattern. Okay, then you exit that one. Do the same thing to the other one. Edit define pattern. Okay. Then you go to layer, new fill layer, pattern. And then you see it pops up. Drag that underneath of the orbs. And then you can make it soft light. You can make it screen, do it on lighten, I'm going to do it lighten, it doesn't have to be, I'm just doing that, and then I'm going to drop the opacity down a little bit, okay, then I'm going to do the same thing for the other one, come on patterns, okay, there we go, this one, can move it over a little bit, do the same thing, make it mess with it, see how you like it. Um, let's see. I'm going to put it on lighten, but I'm going to take the opacity and lighten it up to about, I say about 45, if you can see it's right there. Okay. And that's done. That's literally done. All I would do next would be like adding my credit or adding my text. Let's see. Give me a basic text. I'm going to use, I'll use something that everyone has. I'll use arrow. Okay. Let me get bigger. Zebra. I'll just do a zebra. Take that off. Make it bold. Bring in what you would call the character, takes the sharp, put it in white, just telling you what I would do. You don't have to do this, you can do it however you want it. Add a 
drop shadow and if you want to know what my drop shadow is I make the angle 90 distance 0 spread 0 size 6 okay make this bigger make it like 102 eh, still not big enough 242 okay that's better and that's literally it. Alright, make it just a little bit. Basically, it's all playing with it. Like, you just have to mess with it. Just same thing with the textures. You like, you can use any pattern, any texture. Just play with the layer level. And then you'll get what you wanted, basically. And as you can see... Oh, I exited it. Never mind. But as you can see, it's just how it's supposed to be. You can do whatever. If you want, you can make the, even make the text and make that like overlay, so then it blends into it more, or you can put it on soft light, so it really blends in. Like you can see right there, it's popping, that's actually pretty cute. But yeah, if you need any help, feel free to ask me. You can ask me on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash, um, it's zebra baby or something like that. I don't know by heart. I'll link it or you can ask it on the page that this will be on which will be on zebrachick.net Okay. Hope you guys understood this time and you enjoy it and I will include the textures and thanks to good friends Peter and Rena for the two textures. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs>